Good evening, everybody. We have reached the end of the first few days back in school, and certainly the the feel in school is that the children absolutely have loved being back in school, getting back to that important job of learning. Uh, and certainly from my observations, there's been lots and lots of very happy, smiley faces uh, around school this week. Uh, and the children have been doing a, uh, a fantastic job. It's, it's almost like they've never been away. Uh, so again, credit to you for supporting them uh, during their uh, time away from school and credit to them and, res and you know, uh, all the kudos to the children for the resilience they've shown uh, getting back into school. Uh, this update uh, it follows uh, some, some feedback that I've had both from you as parents, uh, but also from the children uh, and a meeting I've had with my staff uh, this week uh, to review uh, our procedures, uh, particularly our procedures at the start of the day uh, and also our procedures at the end of the day. Uh, I've got a, 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 a PowerPoint which I, uh, I will just present uh, with uh, to you. Uh, so I need to do that one. And then hopefully you will now be able to see uh, these updates. So just to, to, to kind of reiterate, uh, I've had some feedback from parents. I've, I've been asking parents uh, about how things are going and also had some, some parents uh, come and talk to me about how uh, they are perceiving things in terms of the beginning and, and end of the day. I've spoken to some children uh, and uh, as, I, as I mentioned just now, I, I had a staff meeting with my team yesterday where we reviewed uh, our procedures uh, and all of that data uh, we have collected and uh, uh, we've, we, we are going to change a number of things about how the beginning and end of the day operate. The changes affect all year groups, uh, including but to a lesser degree, uh, nursery students as well. Uh, so this is a really important update for everybody. So, uh, as I said, uh, I'm going to uh, explain in detail uh, the, 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 the changes uh, that we're putting in place at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, but also uh, to the uh, to the much loved one way system uh, that we have around the school site. Uh, and I'll be explaining some more about those in a minute. Uh, like I say, we, we, the feedback I've given uh, has led me to need to make some changes to what we've been doing. Uh, and also, uh, you know, it's important that we, we, we keep everybody as safe as possible, uh, but also uh, keep things as disruption free as possible. Uh, so I'm just going to detail some of those changes for you now. So currently, uh, at the beginning of the day, uh, we have a number of staggered start times uh, for different year groups uh, and we have parents and children arriving at different times depending on which phase of the school uh, those children are in uh, and what I have said to parents is that uh, if you have siblings in different year groups you can arrive at whichever time suits you best and what we've discovered is that everybody arrives at the, pretty much everyone arrives at the earliest possible time. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, we, we, we've seen some parents arriving much earlier than they should be, and we've seen some parents arriving uh, a bit later than they should be. And there's all sorts of reasons for that. Uh, you know, it could be that, 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 that actually folks are unaware of the different start times, or it might be that they're dropping uh, siblings off elsewhere or, 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 or whatever other reason it might be. Uh, what I want to be able to do, and I'm, I'm going to detail this in a minute, is, is, is make that start of the day much less stressful for everybody. Um, uh, my colleagues have told me uh, that, that having lots of different staggered start times across the school is, is making the, the beginning of their school day uh, as they try and, 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 and get down to the job of teaching and, and, and the students get down to the job of learning. Different students arriving at different times of the day makes, makes things very, very tricky. Uh, for uh, and, 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 and actually quite disruptive for my teaching colleagues. And uh, on occasions, parents have fed back to me that actually there's, a, there's some clogging up as, as you walk around the one-way system that we have on the school site. Uh, there's there's a, a, a bit of clogging uh, as we go around and, and we have to avoid this. With, with the pandemic is still here, the virus is still allow, around and although we're outside, we need to make sure that we keep that flow of people going all the way around the school site at, uh, and avoid that clogging up. So 
moving forward, uh, we are going to streamline the beginning of our school day. So all classes from nursery uh, right up to year six will begin their school day at 9 a.m. That is when lessons will start and we expect all students to be in school by 9 a.m. To accommodate for that, we are dropping uh, the staggered start times and instead what we're moving to uh, is a model that is used uh, in one of uh, at Bishop Loveday Primary School who have you know nearly 500 students on roll. Uh, so this model works in that very large primary school. Uh, we're moving to a, a, a flexible drop off time. So there'll be 10 minutes over the course of a morning where you can arrive at any point in those 10 minutes, drop off your children and then leave, uh, leave the school site. Um, and we're hoping that, uh, that what that will enable uh, us to do is to have a steady flow of people over those 10 minutes uh, around the school site to avoid that kind of clogging up uh, that we've seen uh, recently. Now that flexible drop off time uh, will be between 8.45 and 8.55. Uh, so the school gate will open at 8.45 uh, and it will stay open uh, as it does uh, as it does now. And, and for most days of the week, I will be on the school gate welcoming you uh, into school as I have been. Uh, and that should be a steady flow of people over those 10 minutes. Uh, and uh, you, like I say, you drop your students into their classes uh, and then continue around the one way system. Now, my teaching and TA colleagues who, who have seen this plan and we've agreed this plan together, they will be in their classroom uh, from 8.45 uh, to, to welcome the children into their classrooms. Uh, now, it's important to note here that the, the exit and entrances for all of the students are, are going to stay exactly the same. We'll talk more about that in a bit. There'll be an activity for the students, for those students who arrive before 8.45, uh, sorry, 8.55. Uh, and, be, you know, if they arrive early because you drop them off early, there'll be an activity for those students to complete, usually as maybe a spelling activity or, or, or some quiet reading for them to do, or, or there'll be a maths activity uh, uh, before, the, before the formal start of the school day at 9 a.m. Registers will be taken uh, just after 8.55, but before 9 o'clock. It takes about 30 seconds to take a register. Uh, my staff will, will leave it as close to nine o'clock as possible. And it's all electronic. Uh, so as we fill in the registers, they, 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 they head off to Mrs. Riley. Uh, so there's no kind of filling in paper and, and sending it back to the office. It's all done electronically uh, and lessons will begin uh, at 9 a.m. Now, because uh, the, the, the expectation from me uh, and certainly the expectation from my team uh, and I, I, I know that the expectation from you as parents will be the same, is that uh, because we're dropping the staggered pickup time, uh, drop off times, uh, we are essentially moving to a 10 minute block that, that you maintain your distance. We know the science tells us that social distancing is still one of the most effective ways of, of, of reducing the transmission rate of the virus. Uh, and certainly data that I've seen today uh, from where I live uh, in West Oxfordshire is certainly showing an increase uh, in the number of COVID cases. Uh, I've not looked at North Hans data for today, but but we need to do everything we can to keep those uh, those rates down. And so social distancing at, at drop off is still really important. And I'm I've been pleased to see uh, that folks have been taking that very seriously in the last few days. So uh, so I'm really grateful for that. Uh, and also as has been since June last year, uh, the wearing of masks. And again. Loads and loads of people, most people, in fact, have been wearing their masks at uh, pick up and drop off. And again, I'm really grateful for that as well. So just to be clear uh, that all lessons in all year groups uh, will begin uh, at 9 a.m. Now, the end of the day uh, is the thing that my, my, my team and I spent most of our meeting yesterday discussing because we have a number of concerns, which I'll, I'll share with you shortly uh, about uh, and and we want to make things better for everybody. Um, so, excuse me, currently uh, we have a number of different finish times for for different year groups, as we have since June and July last year. Uh, but but most recently uh, we've introduced some slightly different start and finish times. And actually what that's led to is 
is more disruption and more confusion. Uh, and while our youngest students in school, so I'm talking now about our reception students, our year one and year two students, um, uh, while those students uh, start latest currently, uh, they don't start school until 9 a.m., what we're seeing is a lot of those students are arriving because they have older siblings in school, a lot of those students are arriving as early as 20 to nine uh, because their siblings are being dropped off at the same time. They have the earliest lunchtime uh, in school. So they, they sit down to have lunch at midday and then they currently finish the latest uh, of all the year groups in school. Now, the older year groups start their day earlier and finish their day earlier so that the length of the school day is the same. But we have some of our reception students who are being dropped off in school at 20 to 9 and finishing their lessons at 3.30. And my team and I share these concerns, actually, uh, that, that that makes the afternoon session very, very long for the youngest children in school. Uh, and actually, what we want to do is to to uh, to kind of rebalance out uh, how our school day works and, and how it finishes. So um, and again, uh, parents have told me uh, that as they're walking around with the current system as it is, uh, there is lots and lots of clogging up uh, around the one way system, which, again, we need to make sure we avoid for reasons I described earlier. And actually, my own observations from the last few days being up on the school gate at the end of the day uh, is, is that some parents, not not everyone, you know, the vast majority of parents arrive at the right time and, and so on and so forth. But some parents are not arriving at the at the times that, that I asked them to arrive last week uh, and uh, and uh, they're either arriving earlier or later and I think that that is because we've got too many staggered start and finish times and it's just creating lots and lots of confusion. So moving forward again to streamline that procedure at the end of the day and make things flow better uh, for everybody including parents uh, there's some changes coming. Now I want to be clear that there are no changes to the nursery finish time. So if you are a parent whose children attend our, our preschool, uh, our, our nursery class, then there are no changes. You will finish at three o'clock as you currently do. You will come up to reception uh, to the office to come and collect your children as you currently do. So no changes to you. But for the rest of the school, uh, we are going to implement just two different finish times. One for our youngest students in reception year one and year two, and one for our students in years three, four, five, and six. Really simple and straightforward. So if you have a child in reception, year one or year two, your finish time, your lessons will finish and you will be uh, at 3.20. We, I, I would ask that parents of uh, children in those classes arrive to collect their children at 3.15. They will be ready for collection at 3.20. For students in years three to six, your school finish time will be 3.30. Your lessons will finish at 3.30. And I'd like to ask those parents uh, of students in Key Stage 2 uh, to arrive at 3.25, ready to collect your children at 3.30. Now, if you have children in Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2, you can collect your youngest children first and walk round to the Key Stage 2 playground and then wait for your older children if you need to. We know that some of our older students walk home on their own and we also know that some of our older students meet parents at the top of the hill. And again, that's good for developing that independence and I, I don't want to stifle that. So if you do that currently, then please continue. Our playground, we, again, I've, I've mentioned this before, but our playground is, re is very big. Uh, we are able, even if we all gathered on the playground at the same time, there's space enough that we can all social distance. Uh, and again, I would appreciate it if you were, were able to do that, please. Now, in order to make all of this happen as smoothly as possible, my, my team and I spent, as I say, we spent a, a good half an hour or so trying to work this out yesterday. Uh, to make things better for everybody uh, and that means we need to in order to make this happen as smoothly as possible we need to change the direction uh, of our school one-way system that we've had in place now the route around the school that currently as it is is not changing 
So um, the route will stay exactly as it is now and as it has been since we introduced it, uh, but you need to go the opposite way round the one-way system. Uh, so instead of coming in at the pedestrian gate at the top uh, and coming down the hill and going into what, what I call the field gate, uh, you go the other way round the system. Uh, so you kind of come backwards down the hill, come down the hill and past uh, Mrs. Riley's uh, office, past the window of my office and round uh, to the new nursery gate, which is next to the hall, walk through the nursery playground into the key stage one playground uh, and then around into the into the key stage two playground and then exit via up the, the hill next to the, the outdoor classroom and out uh, on the path. So the route stays exactly the same. What we're hoping that this will do is allow those parents of the youngest children to collect their, their children and then move on, move round the system to the key stage two playground where there's more space to wait. Uh, and so that we eliminate that clogging up uh, that we have seen. What these changes also do is, is just make the end of the day slightly earlier for our youngest children, because if you remember, we were concerned about that afternoon being a bit longer for them. And it also gets us back to the kind of we're thinking about we're not far away, fingers crossed, we're not far away from being back to kind of normal. Uh, and as school, uh, certainly I would imagine from September, we'll be back to the standard start and finish times for the school day. This is the next kind of step forward uh, to get to that. And as I say, you just go around the route in reverse. Now, this is quite a significant change from what we have done before. Uh, and obviously, as with all of our systems and procedures, we will review this in a couple of weeks time. And I'm keen to get your feedback on this new approach and how it's working uh, just in time in terms of in terms of how the students are getting on, uh, but also the flow of people around the school site uh, and, and how that's working. Uh, so I'm really keen to 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 hear from you uh, about what that looks like. Uh, and I'm going to stop doing that now and then uh, we should be back uh, back on the full screen. I appreciate that we're, we're only a few days back into this. This I'm going to call it a new term, but it's not a new term. But, you, but you'll know what I mean. Uh, and we always we've always said that, that, that the systems and structures that we put in place were, are constantly reviewed and we want to make improvements to what we're doing. And I'm hoping that uh, that the. the, the, the these new systems that we've agreed with the staff will make things much better for everybody, and I'm sure they will. Like I say, if you have any feedback, then then please do send it to me uh, via the usual via the usual channels, email or, or or catch me on the school gate. These changes that we're implementing uh, will take will will happen from Monday, uh, so Monday the fifteenth uh, of March, uh, that's this coming Monday. Uh, I will be on the school gate tomorrow, uh, to, to, to today, in fact, Friday, so it's Friday morning, so I will meet and greet everybody on the school gate and, and remind everybody and tell everybody of the changes that are coming for Monday. Um, they should work. We're hopeful that they work. We've thought carefully about what, they, what, what, what the implications are, uh, and I'm sure that things will, will improve uh, slightly at the beginning of, uh, and end of each day. As always, uh, I'm really grateful for your support and your understanding. Uh, and like I say, if you have any questions or, or comments, please do uh, do get in touch via the usual channels. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye bye.